like you were, really had to work. Uh, yeah, it was just... <laughs> the race started off and I kind of thinking in my mind, just going out there and just going after that time. And then I was thinking if you go, if you run like, you know, quick, 26, 40 <laughs> something, then there won't be as, there shouldn't be as many guys. Uh, so it was quite surprised to see that the guys put in the pace and slow down a bit. And then the guy when he took off, actually the, the young guy, world truly champion, I don't know his name, he was going in and out, so I was just like, <laughs> yeah, what's this yeah. guy doing? Surges here. Surges, yeah. yeah. Which just takes a lot of energy out of you, but I was just like, okay. So is it a matter of when somebody does that, that you just let them go and you just run your own oh, race yeah. and you don't respond to them, really? Yeah. Yeah. That, that's the A, that's, that's the best way to do it. That, and that, that's how I do it. <laughs> I, I had you in 58.6 for your last lap. Okay. You know, is, what, does that tell you anything? Nah. No. <laughs> Other than you ran 58.6. Yeah. 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 It's okay. It's, it's not too bad. Uh, I know training's been going pretty well. And tonight with condition been a little bit better, uh, less wind, uh, it would have been nice to run a little bit faster. I, ho I was hoping to run decent time, close time to my personal best, but sure. it just didn't happen. Right. It just, you know. Was it good to get this one? People talk about, oh, this is the first race since Beijing 5000, and that kind of thing. Get it out of the way, just get it over with. Yeah, get out of the way. You know, I started off from cross country in January, right. second, and then on yeah, the some road, roads and stuff, and sure. And stuff. But it's my first track race, so it's good to get out of the way. Um, and I have got great memories of this track. First time I ran it in 2000, in 2011, I ran a personal best European record. It was a whole lot, and then <laughs> end up coming second at the World Champs. So I've got good memories of this track. But it's it's over with now. Now the way you, you got it, you, yeah. you got it ticked off. That I got box. it. I got it ticked off now. So I just have to go a little bit sharper now. Yeah, now. Uh, yeah, so okay. you enjoy running here? I like, I like Haywood Field. It's got great memories and obviously you know, legacy of Prefontaine and all, you know, Nike and everything. It's just, you know, it's, it's nice. They, they do have some true fan here. Do, do you, are you now going to be just appointed to the, will you be selected to the team? You won't have to go through any trials? No, the trials or? already happened. So I was actually pre-selected pre already just because they have, For both distances? Uh, yes. Mainly for the 10k, and I'm not sure if 5k. Right. Just because you know I'm running a lot faster than anyone else. So. so, so that worry, quote unquote, is kind of off your, yes, your shoulders off, yeah. now. It's, it's yeah. not. We don't get it as bad as you look, guys. You know, mm, the yeah. US is like no matter what. If you're Olympic champion, <laughs> world champion, world record holder, it's brutal. Because if you don't finish in the top three, if you're number four past the yeah, post, you're, you're out of luck. You ain't going anywhere. Yeah. So uh, we don't yeah. get. We haven't got as stronger guys as you guys. So for us, it's like. If someone's run decent time and they're capable of finishing the top ten or you know up there or right. getting in the final, then you do select. But the timing and the placement of this race, I would think, for someone like you is, yeah. is ideal. I mean, you can get a fast race. You, can, you can get, get a sub twenty seven. Yeah. yeah, get fast race out the way, and depends on how the race run. It's, it just gives you good confidence, isn't it? It's sure. like you know driving a car. You know, test driver. <laughs> you've been there. They know the course well and. Later on, when you get in it, it's just you feel more relaxed and comfortable. Formula One mode. No, I can't do that, mate. Oh. I'm not Lewis Hamilton. <laughs> oh, there was uh, 150 scientists uh, signed a letter today asking that the uh, Rio Olympics be postponed or moved because of the Zika virus. What's your reaction to, mate, it's to first, that? It's the first time I'm hearing it. All I know, my family and I are all going. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you think about all this, this talk about? Delaying, postponing it, delaying it. I don't think, I don't think they're going to do that. It's just uh -huh. always a lot of talk, and I guess even like you know London Olympics, there was a lot of talk like uh, things wasn't ready, mm -hmm. uh, traffic's going to be bad, and it was none of that. It was the best Olympics ever, you know. Right. And it's always you're always going to get some talk and stuff, but as an athlete, you don't want to think about anything other than I'm going to be racing. My first race yeah. is on the 13th of August. I need to concentrate. And that's it. Okay. Yeah, but you, yeah, you have to think that way because you're the athlete. Yeah. But where, when you're talking about bad traffic and stuff, like yeah. they said that about the LA Olympics two years before, exactly. you got. With this time, we got a health. Stuff. It's a Can health issue though. This? this time. He's answered it. Let's move on to something else. I'm just doing my job. I know. I'm about. He's answered your question. Let's move on and talk about the race and lots of other things. Doesn't what do you want to do? Well, 
end of the day, you know, things will take care of themselves. And as an athlete, all I have to do for me is concentrate on my job, the same as you, and, and do do what I need to do mm -hmm. to be able to be the best shape that I can and a bit more position. And, okay, do you, do you have any uh, workouts uh, that have you had some of your best workouts this season? And yeah, I have, I'm not going to give it away though. Uh, <laughs> but it's been some cracking. What's the story behind the blue kit? Huh, sorry. What's the story behind the blue kit? The blue kit is, you know, all the all the, all the guys are world champion last year. Nike, like if you're, if you're a Nike athlete and you're world champion last year, you get a blue kit. Um, this is this is it. Like my teammate wouldn't even call down with me because they were wearing the black kit now, Jake. <laughs> You're too cool, though. But it's nice. I like that. Do you like it? Oh, yes. I think it's it's a fans. Okay. Uh, the, the boys try to push you, really. Yeah. The young boys, to me. Yeah. Really trying to you know, make the game unpredictable. Yeah. How did you do that? Yeah, no, it's good to see some new faces and the, the guys, you know, Kenyan guys are always strong. They're always like Ethiopian, Kenyans, Uganda. They're, they're my oppositions, you know, they're the guys, you know, always push me, even like, you know, if you watch their World Half Marathon, uh, what's it, the Jeffrey and uh, uh, what's it, uh, uh, Karoka, Karoka did push it, push it all the way, so it's good, you know, that athletics is about, you know, going out there and see what you can do. Okay. Can you say something for them in Kiswahili? Kiswahili, Jambu Bwana, Abari, Abari Sana. And from, you know, uh, uh, <laughs> and from today's race, how do you feel in your preparation for the Olympics? Yeah, preparation is going well. Uh, I'm in a good place. Training has been going pretty well. I feel, I feel healthy. That's the important part. Yeah. yeah. And with your new kit coming in last year, has the, how has the responsibility at home um, change? Change. Yeah. Yeah. Is uh, I, lo I, yeah, I love my family, and you know, I've got four kids now. It's, it just seems to have to be a little bit more responsibility and plan things ahead. Uh, but it's going well. My son was here first time he's watching me, and it's nice to have you know, all my family here and watching you. It's just it's part of life, isn't it? <laughs> Any <laughs> plans sure to you for you, but yeah. celebrate while you're here, or what's your celebration after this? Tonight, we'll just go out for a meal. Uh, the kids will probably go put the kids to bed, and then I will just grab something to eat somewhere. And any races you're looking forward to tomorrow? Tomorrow. Uh, I'll Quite excited about 100, 100 meters because mm -hmm. it's always interesting. David Oliver, one of my Arsenal Guna friend at the hurdles. Uh, Sonia Richardson, the four. Uh, so, and then uh -huh. the 5,000. Yeah, it'll be exciting. So now, yeah. so now that you, uh, so now that like last year or like in like 2012 when you won two Olympic gold medals for your two kids that you had back then, yeah. are you gonna try and like? Make that all the yeah, I have to, innit? <laughs> Otherwise, two of them go, Daddy, what? Well, you gave them, not me. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll go try it. So, was there like any point in the race that you were kind of worried about if you were going to be able to pull through with it? Like when like Albert Ropp was taking it out for like the first four or, or five laps, or when Sambu took it out afterwards? Were you like kind of worried? Or? Uh, no, not at all. Just like uh, as, as I was going through the race, I just there was a little bit of a bad patch for me, like where in the middle race where I just felt like. It's like a bit tired, not tired, but just like couldn't quite move. And then once I start moving, and then everybody's there, so we're like thinking, oh God, who's there? Uh -huh. what, what do I need to do, you know? Cool. Great. Thank you guys. Great I'm, racing, Mel. Thanks very much.